In this video we're going to be working on having the horse inside the float and getting comfortable with it and, and nice and relaxed. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just setting it up so that the float is a really lovely place to be. And as you can see, now I'm in the other side of the divider. Um, so I've given myself a little bit of space to be able to bring Oliver forward. And what I want to start being able to do is be able to come down his side without him backing off. So, good boy. It's quite common that because they've been following you up until this point that they might sort of decide to go backwards when you're here. So what I'll do is I'll just stay with him. Good boy. So you could see I left my arm up to the side there. Good boy because I want him to realize that he doesn't have to follow my hand. Good boy. There we go, because you thought you were gonna get treats from it, didn't you? And of course, clicking and treating, there we go. So now we can see he's starting to stay there up the front without feeling like he has to follow my body language backwards. Good chap, hey, yeah. Good man. So this is really handy if you are ever on your own and having to load up and you know you have to get the horse on by yourself and then go back to the back to put the divider across. And of course we never want to tie them up before we've got the um, bum bar across at the back because we don't want them to go backwards. Good boy. So. Combining the two, we want to just make this place and space feel really good. So we're just hanging out in here and you can use the clicker training if you are wanting to do that. Or of course, just using the, uh, the release theory and pressure and release, making your energy really nice and low and making it inviting and just kind of hanging out in here, not asking anything of them. And then once we've worked on that a little bit, we can begin to, as we were, as I was talking about before, being able to come down his side and just rub on him and have him realize that he doesn't have to follow me back there. Cool boy, hey. That's a good man. And then coming back to the front, making sure that we've still got good manners and that he's being patient and waiting at the front rather than trying to mug me for treats. Good boy. And then I can come back up and treat him. If you weren't using treats right there, you would simply just go down and when you're inched a little bit further, coming back to a neutral place and taking the energy off. Good boy. Hey. Yes. I'm saying, where are my treats? I'm doing so good. So over time, as the horse gets more confident, then of course we start to reduce the click and treat and um, they're doing it just because they actually are comfortable in here. Or some people choose to keep the treats in there and you can't be in my space. And have it as a reward anyway. Good boy. So gradually being able to come back further. Good boy. And step back forward again. Good man. Not in my space. Good boy. There you go. It's 
So you can see by me just gradually inching my way back, I forgot to do a click there, um, he gets more and more confident about staying up here and not having to follow me. Good boy. So just there, I don't know if you can see in the film, but he slightly rocked backwards as I inched a little bit further back. So I made sure that I didn't go any further than that. I just waited a moment for him to relax and then I came back forward again. So it's about making sure that you don't do too much too soon as well and cause them to react. We want to just inch our way along and see how they respond to each step of the way without kind of throwing them in the deep end and expecting them to swim. Good boy, not in my space, not in my space. Good boy. So just there I could see he got a little bit uptight. So I just stay there. Good boy. So all the way, you want to be reading your horse's body language. Good boy. And just because you've done something once before, it doesn't mean they're going to be good the next time. Good boy. Now you can have a good boy. Good man. So you can see when he goes to rock back there, I can ask him to go back forward again. So essentially using our go button from our very um, first exercise. So you can start to see where all of those things come into play when we add them into our float loading. Good boy. So you're just going to slowly build on this, being able to walk back towards their hindquarters and have them staying relaxed and not relying on you being up the front. Good boy. Okie dokie, so I think we're going to finish this session up here. He's done fantastic. And remembering, I want to keep these sessions short and sweet because he is only a young horse and I want this to be an interesting time spent together rather than one where he gets bored and sour and over the whole thing completely.